Hello everyone, as I said before, I'm Brett Stevens. I'm a systems analyst for the Learning Platforms team. Um, I'm going to be going over using the Kaltura screen recorder in Blackboard Learn. Uh, just so I have a feeling for uh, how exposed you all have been to uh, Kaltura, how many of you have used or played around with Kaltura in Blackboard Learn? Just give me a green check mark. Okay, so we've got a mix here. So uh, some have, some haven't. So I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to go through a, a quick introduction on how to add uh, something using the uh, Kaltura Media Mashup uh, within the content editor of Blackboard Learn. Any content uh, area, you can click on uh, the new content uh, item and get the standard content editor here. And we uh, then go to the mashups uh, menu here and select Kaltura Media. And then from there, we have an option over on, here on the right side of the screen, not the left, as uh, you might assume, uh, knowing Blackboard. And then go to Record Your Screen. And once there, the recording interface comes up. Uh, we've got a couple options here I want to talk about. Of course, there's the ubiquitous uh, Record button here. That's when you have your, uh, your frame all lined up. You can drag each corner of this uh, uh, frame around to uh, frame just the area of the screen you want to want to record, and then you have your microphone test. You can uh, select which microphone you want to uh, use, and then here you have the area of the screen. It does have some presets if you want to have uh, a certain uh, dimension on the screen, and then there's this button which allows you to uh, record your webcam along with it and have that in frame with your uh, uh, screen recording if you want to have a little talking head box there. And here we have a little demonstration of that. Uh, I'm just recording uh, part of the uh, Blackboard interface. You see that I've got my uh, webcam uh, turned on there, but I can, uh, that of course is optional. You can uh, turn that on or off uh, while you're going through. I'll show you how to do that uh, when I do the live demo here. And uh, if we click record here, it does give us an option uh, to pause it or stop it. This button here does say, I'm done with this session, let's go on to processing the media. And here's the uh, uh, preview of that. And you're, you can move the uh, webcam uh, mini window here around, but it only is in one position throughout the entire recording. So if you do uh, that, you have to take into consideration that you will have an area of the screen blocked by that. Uh, webcam there. And yes, Bill is um, letting you know that I will be able to do a live live demo. We were uh, under the assumption that it would uh, interfere, but it does not actually. So uh, what we do here is just go through. We can play the whole thing back and move the uh, uh, webcam screen around, just dragging it with our mouse, give it a title and description, tags if we want to. Then when we're done, we click upload here. So moving on, I'm going to do a quick live, live demonstration. I'm going to do application sharing. And bring this window down to the size I want. So you guys just see the important area of the screen. So here I'm in a, I'm in a content uh, area here. Let me go back. I go to build content and create an item. And here in the mashups window, I go to Kaltura Media. That'll bring up this pop-up. It wants to be bigger than my screen area here, just a moment. and go to Add Media, record your screen. And once we're there, you'll see I've got this frame that I can work with. 
you know, dragging the corners to get just a certain area of the screen. You can also drag it at the edges there if you just want to expand on one dimension. And you see that already it's uh, registering that I do have uh, microphone uh, activity here. And here I can select to include uh, output from one of my cameras. So if I record this, it's going to give me a countdown. And then it will record where my mouse is and where I click. And you can see that it's uh, got a timer counting up here. It has a two hour limit. It should be adequate for most everything you need to do. And then I can pause that. And if I want to, I can continue recording at that point or just restart it all together and just scrap what I was doing. But once I'm done there, I can click done. And you'll see that it has my video here. It's probably going to come over kind of jerky here as I play it, but I want you to see something. So uh, that may not have come over very well, but it does have indication where your mouse is and when you click on something so that it uh, is obvious to the people watching your screen recording that you've done something there. So I'm just going to leave it with this default title and go ahead and upload this. And you'll see upload complete. It takes a little bit longer if it's a longer recording. And we close out of that. And then we have options for how to do the uh, mashup here. I'm going to say no on these two so it just shows the video window. You'll see that in just a second. And you see here we have the content mashup. And it's just a watch video. I can put other content in here as well. And there you see that it's now embedded there in the uh, content item in our content area. And do we have any questions? Yes, Bill. Um, when you were playing it back, could you hear the audio? We couldn't, but I assume it was playing out of your your speakers. Yes, I, I heard the audio there. It must not have gone translated that over to uh, the microphone line uh, going to collaborate. And Katam? Yes, hi. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I have a question about the thumbnail of the Kaltora, once we create the video, I come across a question uh, the other day that it, the thumbnail uh, can be changed or it's something that has to, to go with the default. Uh, let me uh, check that really quick. I'll uh, share my screen out again. I believe there was a way to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's uh, there in yeah, the... So I'm going to uh, go back to well, I think the easiest thing I'll do just go back to my media here and uh, I'm not sure where to do that just a moment. I thought maybe we have to go to my media space and somewhere there we can. Uh, uh, yeah, just a moment. Right there, there's an edit under the big uh, thing. Yeah, that just lets us uh, edit the title there. Uh, Isn't that what you asked to ed edit the title? Uh, you wanted to edit the uh, actual thumbnail, the image that, that appears. Thumbnail. Uh, I'm not sure. I will look into that further and uh, get back to you. I know there was a way to do that at one point, but I'm not sure if that's in the other uh, interface for culture or not. But thank you for asking. I will get back to you on that. Thank you, Brad. All right. And Bill, you have another question? Yeah. Um, it, what are the uses of this? What what would you expect faculty to do with it? 
Well, uh, you can demonstrate uh, use of an application if it's uh, uh, needed for the course, or if you just need uh, need to show them through a website uh, and have that uh, play back so that you can have audio over it. Uh, you can demonstrate pretty much anything. Uh, you can do it on, on a computer with one of these screen recordings. Can I record my whole screen? If I had a PowerPoint, say six or seven slides or something, and I wanted to uh, record it with voice, could I do that? Certainly, just expand the uh, the window out uh, to include that. Uh, it, by default, it does go to a full screen uh, recording. And I guess one other question: Does the um, uh, limitations on, on time and that kind of stuff? I know it says there was a two-hour limit, but I don't remember. We've got Collaborate and we've got Kaltura and <clears throat> the processing time or the upload time, where where do we run into issues? I'm not sure where exactly uh, uh, we would run into an issue as far as how long it would have to be before you saw a noticeable delay in uh, processing. But uh, as you saw, it, it uh, took barely any time at all for my little clip there. So I guess we could uh, probably expect at most uh, real time. So if you do a 30-minute clip, it's ready in 30 minutes. But I bet it will be uh, faster than that. They do faster processing on the Kaltura server than the Collaborate server. If you allow me to jump in on that, um, the, the the process is in real time, but uh, if you're doing that in a classroom, that means that if you record it for a half an hour, you're going to have to wait another half an hour for the for the video to be to, to be processed and uploaded to the Kaltura server. So. Uh, I would I would think that if you're going to be doing it in a classroom, I would limit the recording to a small amount of time so you don't take uh, additional time when the class finishes. Rick, to make sure I understand what you're saying, um, if I'm teaching and I record until the bell rings and then I say stop, if I record with Kaltura um, and I say stop, the computer will continue processing for another however long I recorded, and somebody else can't use the computer, or what? Yes, somebody else can use the computer, the, but the, the recording will have to be uh, uploaded with the computer on. So that means that um, after you're done doing the recording of, the, of whatever session you're doing, you have to keep that computer on. If you turn it off, then the, the upload will be interrupted. And you'll have to come back in that computer and uh, resume the the upload from there. You have another question, Katam? No, actually, I have a comment because we use Kaltura. Uh, you know, I don't want to say intensively, but you know, many of our faculty they use it, and I have experience, like you know, to upload uh, a media. It does not take. A long time, you know, even like you upload it and it said like you successfully is, is been uploaded, and but when you click on it, it said like you know it, it needs to be processed. So even though if you log out and you come back to the, you know, you will be able to see it. So maybe to answer like the question, it won't take time just to upload it. And um, and it will you it, you will you will receive the message that it said successfully uploaded, and later on you can go back and check the uh, the file when it's processed. So that's one thing. And I actually you know I'm, I'm so proud of our faculty here in the School of Nursing that one of our faculty she records she used uh, recorded from her computer her lectures for uh, for like kind of a statistic course. And uploading her to, I set up her account, and she uploading, building her media gallery in her course. So I think it's very useful. Once it's Java is installed uh, correctly in the computer, and all the features uh, function well, it's very useful, and we should, uh, our faculty should uh, take advantage of this. Thank you. So Katam, um, the faculty member that was doing this actually um, recorded the video separately, not using Kaltura, and then used Kaltura to upload the file, or did they record it in Kaltura? 
Okay, we I have we have used it in different way, uh, in many different ways. So I have like one and uh, like one instructor actually she used it heavily that she used the, the screen capture and recording her voice from her uh, computers, and uh, we do have like some uh, like some archive like you know, for uh, for example, and I uh, convert some of the Blackboard collaborative sessions that we convert them to MB4 and upload them to Kaltura for uh, actually the, the faculty member does this. We do have other cases that they use Kaltura to do introduction lecture for their courses for each unit. So I have been using it in a different way but, and the way you learn it by practice actually. You have to have your hand on and doing it in, uh, in order to discover different things. So we came across last week about the thumbnail uh, thing, and I think I have uh, Yaritsa here. Uh, I, I work closely with her. She's uh, also our instructional designer. And I, I see, I don't know if she does that, that to go to my media space to see if we can change the thumbnail the way that to change it from the default to some specific uh, thumbnail. Because you can do this with Vimeo, but I'm sure that there is a way to be done with uh, Kaltura as well. Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, it's always better to hear from people who are using it than the people who are teaching it. So uh, that's great. And and I don't think we ever did a, a overview of Kaltura. For those people who aren't familiar with Kaltura, it is a, uh, a, a video server that you upload a video file to or create it, in this case, in, a, in Kaltura. And then it converts the video file to all the right formats for an iPhone, for whatever device you got, uh, Windows, Mac, whatever, and then uh, allows you to play it back. And it streams it to the user. Uh, you can actually upload regular video files like to Blackboard and students will click on them, but they don't stream to the user. They actually download to their computer. They might start playing immediately and look like they're streaming, but in fact they're uh, uh, downloading to their directory. This way uh, the player receives it and that's all. So uh, and, and it can allow some protection of the videos and all that kind of stuff for copyright now. Anything else, Brett? That's all. Thank you.